Hello Scorpio, here is your weekly guidance for week beginning the 4th of March and I have the Rider Waite Tarot deck for you this week and I also have a message from Spirit using my messages from Heaven cards. And please subscribe by clicking on the link below if you've not done so yet and click on the little bell to be notified of when I upload in the future. That's not a link. <sighs> Two, three, four. Hello Scorpio. Here is your weekly guidance for a week beginning the 4th of March. And I have the Rider Waite Tarot for you this week and the messages from Heaven Cards to bring you a message from Spirit. So we'll give these a sh good shuffle and see what's coming up for you this week. And if you've not subscribed yet, you can do so by clicking on the subscribe button below and the little bell next to it to be notified of when I upload in the future. And I'm intending to do weekly videos for each of the star signs from now on. So if you'd like to know when that they are uploaded or be reminded, just click on that little bell. Okay, so here are your cards, dear Scorpio. So, let's see what's happening for you this week. Your first card is the King of Cups. Okay, and that's a general energy. That's spot on for you, Scorpio. The next card is the Ten of Cups, and that's your love life. Looking good. The third card relates to career and finance. Another card that looks good. The fourth card is your challenge. The fifth card is the advice for you this week. And the final card is a message from Spirit. How wonderful that Temperance and the Angel should come out for you there. So let's start with your first card, the King of Cups. And that's you, the general energy for you for this week. Now the King of Cups is a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Cancer and your sign, Scorpio. So um, this is an uh, uh, emotional, sensitive type of guy. And as it's an energy for this week, I feel you will be stepping into your power, Scorpio. In other words, you will be just as this King of Cups tends to be. You'll be solid, you'll be um, caring, you'll be giving and this week will be one where you will feel in touch with your emotions and those around you, especially in terms of your family um, and, and partner because you have this wonderful Ten of Cups here. So it's, it's a, a really wonderful week for emotions and sensitivities and you know, you may find that people come to you this week to get things off of their chest. Um, I feel as if that happens a lot for many of you um, because water signs do tend to be great listeners and are also very good at expressing their own feelings. So it's a good week for, for that. And the next card is the Ten of Cups and that relates to love and family um, so the ten of cups it's a wonderful card so many of you will be feeling very contented as if you are complete um, you know it's a really great vibe for the week um, if some of you are planning a trip out this will be you will have a wonderful time you know can you see here the mum and dad and the two children, they're playing outside and the sun is shining and 
and it just it just conjures up conjures up real you know good feelings um especially emotionally and that suits the energy this week you know i just feel there's so much love and abundance this week for you scorpio there really is especially in terms of love for some of you this will be more related to family than than partners especially if you are single but it is a lovely card to have in your love section because it, you know especially if you've had a difficult time recently because this kind of shows the rainbow after storm can you see the rainbow here um so yeah really really um lovely um, abundant week and your next card relates to career and finances and this indicates that it's a week where you um, start to sort of see the rewards for all your hard work and boy have you worked hard um, Scorpio do tend to be very hard working people very very focused um, so for some of you there you know there will be um, financial rewards this week some of you will be tempted to to go out there and spend money I feel that it's a week where you feel you deserve a bit of luxury and I, and I would say that you do with this card coming out um, perhaps you've been making sacrifices in terms of of of, of finance and expenditure and this week you just want to treat yourself that's the feeling I'm getting perhaps some of you have just recently been paid over the weekend um, whatever it is there's just this, this as I say this need to get out and give yourself a bit of a treat um, it, it, financially you know spending a bit of money on you for a while or, or perhaps your loved ones your nearest and dearest but um, whatever it is, it's it, it's well deserved. You know, you've been working hard, and it, and it, you know, it's time for you to have a bit of a breather, isn't it? You know, you you can't always um, save every penny, can you, in life? And that's what this card is kind of indicating. It, it, it's sometimes nice to have a bit of a treat, um, and and in terms of of career, some of you may be thinking about. Um, self-employment uh, this this week or starting a new venture in some way it may be outside of your employment and perhaps you'll be working two jobs but this is about putting your skills to use and I feel some of you will be doing that in a very creative way as well I feel many of you Scorpios will be feeling very creative this week okay um, perhaps taking up a new hobby arts and music and and that kind of thing and the next card relates to your challenges so there is someone around you this week who may be a bit of a challenge um, perhaps it doesn't have to be uh, a partner it could be someone at work someone at home a close friend but you will know who it is and it will resonate differently with, with every one of you. You may work closely with someone who is a bit of a pain and a bit of a challenge. Maybe they upset you. Scorpio can be quite sensitive at times um, because they have a very gentle nature. Um, and this person may just rub you up the wrong way, you know, say the wrong things, do the wrong things. But I feel it's more in an emotional sense that you get a bit upset uh, by, the, by their behaviour. And uh, so, they, they, you know, being around them is going to be challenging. But um, the advice card here is saying, do you know what? It may be that you need to move away from this person, turn your back on them. Can you see the page of ones here is, is, is looking, looking away from, from this, this, this couple here. Um, so your advice here is, first of all, um, not to put up with any nonsense from them. Secondly, is to perhaps free yourself a little bit from them if you can, okay? 
this page of wands has an independent spirit so they're asking you to tap into that independence don't feel as if you have to tolerate their nonsense all of the time you know if you if you're working with them it might be difficult but um, you know there are ways to sort of distance ourselves even if it's just mentally but the page of wands here the advice card is you know it, it it's a week where um, you need to, to sort of tap into that young spirit all right and don't let anything get you down or anybody get you down especially as you have this nine of pentacles you know this, this relates to to freedom freedom of expression freedom of movement freedom to be who you are because this person sort of drags you down whoever it is um so if you can get away from them the more often the better uh, i feel and then your message from spirit is the temperance card what a lovely card to have um, as a message from spirit this is the angels working directly with you look at this they're calming the waters they're bringing balance to your life and they're very strong with you this week okay um, so if there are any emotional uh, situations going on as we as indicated by this king of cups uh, it isn't anything that you can't deal with but you will have the angel support around you let's have a look at your message from spirits you have this wonderful divine energy around you this week and I feel bringing healing as well, especially if you've been hurt or upset recently. So let's have a look at your message. We have been together in dreams. How about that, Scorpio? We have been together in dreams. Um, so if you have had any vivid dreams recently, then um, spirit want you to know that if you have dreamt of them that that is uh, that they are there with you often when we dream we can link with spirit because we're in such a relaxed state we're, we're neither of this world or of that world if you know what i mean and it's in that relaxed state that we are able to communicate with spirit world um, and so spirit are letting you know that those dreams you have when you when you dream of certain people that have passed you are actually meeting up with them okay and you have as i say this wonderful divine energy as well supporting you this week and bringing balance into your life and that is your reading for this week and uh, please like and share the video if you'd like to order a reading you can do so at my link below and i will be back again soon have a wonderful week